Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Ali for new and welcome to Beauty with a Purpose. So if you are new to my channel, my name is Ali. I upload three videos a week, beauty, Bible, and lifestyle. So if any of those interest you, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and let's get into today's video. So for today's video, I have another shop my stash with you guys, for you guys shop my stash for you guys and i want to do like an everyday glam spring makeup look so bold lip but really soft eyes so we are gonna go ahead and get into picking out the makeup and see what we can find to make an everyday glam spring makeup look <laughs> anyways let's go ahead <gasps> look how big this lily got it was not this big oh my gosh it's cute Anyways, back into the makeup. So I know I gotta wanna go in for something like very pretty, fresh, and springy. So let's see, for primer, let's use this for all over the face and we're gonna use this for our pores. But I cannot decide if I want to use, uh, what do I wanna use for, Let's use my Wet n Wild Dewy Foundation and Elf Hydrating Camo Concealer. That's gonna be for our face, but for our brows, I really wanna use this one. Okay, now, here comes some fun parts. So for cream contour, I'm gonna go with the Yinsa one because this is actually really, really glowy and pretty. And for cream blush, ooh. Let's use the Elf, the Elf the Ulta Beauty one. Let's use this for our liquid highlighter. This is currently my favorite setting powder. Like, I just, I can't stop using it. It's been like that for months. And then, let's see, what do I wanna use for blush? So I'm actually gonna grab this blush, the Satin Blush in Satin Coral, just because I believe that this one is the name. Oh, this is Preppy Peach, but they're pretty similar. Uh, for bronzer, let's go with the Silky Matte Bronzer, and for highlighter, I like never reach for this, but let's use that one. Okay, so I feel like I've been using my high-end eyeshadow palettes a lot, but um, we need, let's use a, let's see, I have these right here that would make for a really, really pretty spring makeup look. So there's that one that's super cute, and then there's this one. Let's go with this one because I could use that pink, and it'll be really, really pretty. Okay, so, but we are going to need a cream shade, so I'm just gonna grab this one here from Elf, and then over here. Let's do nude. Let's do nude. We're all so silly. Eye tapes. Um, I feel like I've been. Now that I don't have a lot of mascaras, I feel like I use all of them. Let's use that one. And for brows, I've not used that in a while. And I feel like I should just get rid of that because I don't ever reach for it for the color. To use it, Maybelline Brow Tattoo Studio. And then for lashes, I want to play with these. Like, I want something really soft and pretty. So let's try those out. Yeah, I wanted a bold lip, but now I don't know. I'm going to go between these two, but I'm going to pick my... Let's pick this lip liner from Profusion, and this one's in the shade Imagine. And then, want dewy, so let's do that to prime, and this to uh, set. And now we can get into the makeup, guys. Okay, so now that we got the makeup, let's 
this tag on this sweater is really really itchy but i'm freezing and i needed one of my cuter sweaters to wear because i'm freezing because it's gonna be hot later but right now it's cold outside i hate this time of the year it's like you wake up and put a parka on but then you have to be like in a muscle shirt and shorts in the afternoon like it's this is the worst like this is probably like I just want consistency. I just want to wake up and keep my <laughs> my thermostat on cool. Like that's it. That's all I want. And in the winter, whenever it gets to that weird point in time where it's hot during the day and cold at night, like I just want to get to the point where I can only leave my heater on. Like it's so weird. But anyways, let's go ahead and get into applying all of this makeup. We will have some fun and whatnot, but God, so many things are itching me today. I don't know, maybe it's my skin. Anyways, yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. But first things first, let's go ahead and start with primer. Um, We're gonna go ahead and, okay, that's like super itchy. Gonna go in with my Hard Candy Share Envy Hydrating Primer. I really actually have not used this in such a long time because I got that uh, Smashbox Primerizer and the NYX Marshmallow Primer, which you didn't see in my collection because it is actually in my March favorites. So check out that video. But anyways, I'm about to film, so I have to take it out of my collection so I wouldn't forget what I loved in March. So now it's in the basket right there. Okay, and for pores, I'm just gonna use the Clarins Instant Smooth um, Perfecting Touch Primer. So we're just gonna take very little of that and apply it to our pores, which is really only right here. Okay, and then we are going to prime our face with this little mini Tatcha Luminous Dewy, or Luminous Dewy Skin Mist. And let's just go ahead and all the do today for spring. Okay, I'm gonna go wet my sponge and I will be back. Okay, so we are back. Let's go ahead and start with the brows. So for my brows, I picked out my Wet n Wild Brow Sessive Pencil and my Maybelline Tattoo Studio Pomade. So yeah, I actually haven't even used this pencil since the video where I tried it out. So let's go ahead and use it. I remember liking it and that's why I haven't gotten rid of it, but I haven't used it since that day. Shame on me. Of course I gotta do my brows today. Of course. I mean like pluck. All right, now that brows are done, does anybody else's eyes start itching when they pluck their eyebrows? It's the weirdest thing. Like my nose will start itching or my eyes will start itching when I pluck my eyebrows. It's so weird, but let's go ahead and start doing them i have bald spots on the top of my brows on both eyes it's just my left eyebrow is worse than my right with the bald spot it's probably because i give my eyebrows an arch and i don't actually have an arch <laughs> i remember in high school i used to get my brows done like religiously every single two weeks brows done brows on fleek so crazy to think about now though my mom paid for it and then it's like as i got older i kind of kept up with it i would get it done like once a month and it would last i had the thinnest eyebrows back in the day like the thinnest eyebrows going in with that maybelline tattoo brow what is it called maybelline tattoo studio brow pomade and i have deep brown and in this pencil i have the shade dark brown wow my brows look big it's okay though I mean, my left one looks ginormous. I don't know if I over outlined or what. Boy, it's a big brow. Brouch. Brows are done. Well, just got to clean them up and then we can get into the fun part. So, you guys, I have been loving this I Heart Revolution Heartbreaker Concealer. It is my favorite concealer, like all time favorite concealer to freaking clean up my brows with because it's creamy but it's not too creamy but it's not too dry and it i don't know like i just i like it i like it a lot <laughs> so i am gonna go ahead and color or spot conceal with this concealer and i'm just gonna give that time to set in so that way it kind of becomes one with the skin before we apply the foundation and it gets picked up and moved around I'm just gonna use that same brush to blend those out. Going in with my CoverGirl Lid Lock Eyeshadow Primer. 
feel like I'm so far away today. Don't know. Okay, so now going in with the eyeshadow palettes. First, I'm gonna take the e.l.f. one and I'm just gonna go ahead and set that primer down with the cream shade in here. So now that we have that, we're just gonna go ahead and go in with our Narina Mini Pro Pigment Palette. And this is the Volume 3. This is the Mini Volume 3. And I did not know this one was a shimmer. Fudge Sickles. What can we do? What can we do? Okay, I know what we're gonna do. So we're actually just gonna go ahead and, oh, that's not bronzer. Take our bronzer. And we're just gonna go in with a fluffy brush and apply this bronzer into the crease. Okay, but now what I wanna do is I wanna take this shade here, which is, or this is like, I don't know, a C3. And we're just gonna light, cause these are intense, y'all. So we're gonna, it's too dark. Okay, I'm still gonna take, I'm sorry, I meant to take B3 and start applying that, not the red one. Kind of doing the same thing. It's pink, pink, like super pink. Okay, so this is more of like a sequin shade than it is like a shimmer shade, shimmer shade because as I kept blending, the shimmer basically went away. But I love also how it like packs itself on on the outer corner and then it kind of diffuses into something lighter on the lid. But for my lid, I'm actually going to take A1 and just apply that with my finger as I do most shimmers. And we're gonna apply that where we have that blank space. I'm gonna take some of that glitter just because it's so pretty. And just tap it. But we were thinking about that because for a long time, like mine and Brian's like song that would just like hit was Middle Child by J. Cole. And it's so funny because Bryson would swear, like, Bryson would swear that he was like feeling that song. I'm gonna go ahead and curl my lashes and apply the mascara, guys. Bryson would swear that he that, that was his song. Like, I swear, if y'all, first of all, our kids listen to very little secular music, very little. But anytime they do hear a song, you'll just see Bryson there and like, and I'm like, Bryson, <laughs> you don't even know about Thug Life, calm down boy but anyways yeah he swears that middle child was his song and brian and i will laugh because i'm like yeah like he really been through something like like it's so funny because we're just like bryson's probably back there like yeah i'm the middle child i feel this i feel you j cole i'm the middle child and i'm just like he don't actually say that but that's how he'd be acting when he listening to the video to listening to the song going in with these ml my lashes but better lashes from kiss I just feel like these are gonna be so soft and pretty and these are in the shade, shade in the style no filters. So I'm always here for a good thin lash band moment, but these are almost so thin that it's a little bit tricky to work with. But other than that, I feel like these are so pretty. I feel like they complement the look perfectly because they don't take it like it added just enough, like so freaking pretty. And then I love how tapered these are. So like they're super long on the outside, but short on, these are just cute lashes, cute. So now we're gonna go ahead and go in with the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Dewy Foundation. And it's been so long since I used this. I'll put an expiration date on here because I don't even know when I bought, it. I bought it, but I know it's been about a year. Okay, going in with my Huda Buddha Sponge, Huda Beauty, and just start tapping that started vlogging again yesterday and I kind of missed it. Don't know if I'll be doing vlogging every single week though. I don't think I'll be doing that. Maybe just whenever I feel it, but it'll still be like a week of vlogging instead of just like one day, but I don't think I'll be doing it every single week like I was before. Now we're gonna go in with our e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer. I'm like almost out of this one. Ooh, that's a lot of product. Not bad for using three eyeshadows. Four if you count the eyeshadow we set with. Now, going in with the Yinsa Glowing Glowy Bronzer, Sun Glow Bronzer, Sunlit Glow Cream Bronzer. I 
And now we're gonna put this one on the back of our hand and then use a brush to tap that in. And I'm just taking a very small dot like that, picking up about half of it. And then just tap that in. Tap, 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 tap. Okay, and now I'm just gonna use this with my finger, this ABH liquid glow. And now that we have all of the coin products on, let's go ahead and set with this, br this brush, this powder. And That glow coming through underneath that setting powder is cute. But before we move on, we're gonna go ahead and put our ColourPop Creme Gel Liner in the shade Honey Dude, and we're just gonna tight line with this. Okay, and now, going to apply the Maybelline Sky High Mascara. Mascara is on, and now we're gonna go back in with our Milani bronzer and start bronzing our face with that. I'm warming up, but my feet are still freezing. Okay, and now we're gonna take the Essence Satin Blush and start applying that to our cheeks. And then for highlights, taking the Juvia's Place the Hair When It Glow Wind Palette. That's a real gold. You know what I'd be really mad about right now? If I look at my camera and it's not recording. Okay, and now let's do the lips. So we're gonna outline with Imagine from Profusion. How many times do I say outline my lips in my videos instead of line my lips? I wonder. So should I use, ooh, that's too dark. Nope. We use this one. We don't make this work, y'all. We don't make this work. This is why I can't get rid of this lipstick. Look at how pretty that shade is for a pink. And it is so cute. Now time to set our brows. All right, you guys, and now we are just going to curl and then set and we are done. And I love this look. Whoa. Oh, she cute, she girly or whatever. Set. If your face is not drenched when you're done setting, you're not doing it right. You should look like you just got out of a sauna. Or maybe I'm doing it wrong, who knows. All right, you guys, that is it for today's Shop My Stash Get Ready With Me. If you guys enjoyed this look please let me down, know down below and or give me a thumbs up what hold on rewind okay that is it for today's shop my stash get ready with me you guys let me know what more videos or more looks you would like me to do you could always even hit me up on ig and send me a look and be like yo ali recreate this don't get crazy with it don't get i'm don't get crazy with it i'm very basic with my skills i could do a cut crease and that's about it and this whatever this is i could do that but don't be sending me these freaking hearts on the eyelid type stuff i can't be doing all of that so flowers none of it basic looks you can always send to me on instagram i will re i will recreate them and also like just always leave in the comment what comment section what you would like to see next so yeah i love you guys but always remember that jesus loves you more if you haven't already please go ahead and give me a thumbs up also hit that subscribe button and i will see you guys in my next video bye guys Mwah.